What's up everybody? Bonnie here, welcome back to another video. So good to have you, thanks for tuning in. Today, we're gonna be fishing with artificial lures, first things first, and then we'll switch to live bait later in the day. But before we start fishing, I just wanna shout out Pisces Fun for sending over these two reels. This one I have in my hand is the Carbon X 2 3000. Blacked out, feels solid in your hands. 22 pounds of max drag. 6 to 1 gear ratio, 11 bearings, pretty smooth, thick bail wire. Bail clicks super nice. The, uh, the start and stop, I was messing with it earlier. The start and stop on this thing is pretty solid too. Solid build, man. I never thought that the Pisces Fun Reels would be this great. The next one they sent me is the Captain 6000. 44 pounds of max drag. Again, that bail snaps really nice. Smooth, five to seven point one gear ratio. This one's got nine bearings. We're gonna start throwing this um, three thousand size reel first. Throw an artificial shrimp, and then later in the day, maybe we will get to use the six thousand for snook. I remember a few years back, I used to come out here and just catch flounder. If you guys have not seen that video, I'll leave it up on the top right hand corner. Yeah, I used to be able to come out here and just throw artificial lures, catch flounder. It's not the same anymore because of all the red tide and the water quality, I feel like it's just not there anymore. When I'm in the area, I do like to stop by this spot to check it out because sometimes there'd be trout out there. It's mainly trout and snook though. There is a lot of bait out there right now. There's a lot of pinfish, um, a lot of mohara. So we might cast net for them and take them elsewhere in a little bit if we don't get any bites with the artificial lures. Oh, there's a fish. What is that? No way, a grouper, a baby grouper. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's so cool. Look how tiny that baby grouper is. Inhale the DOA shrimp. That's crazy. Let's get him unhooked and back in the water, man. Whoops. I'll let you go, buddy. Baby. See ya. Small bites over here. We're gonna go ahead and cast net for live bait and go for something else. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That might be one and done right there, man. A lot of pins right there. Yes, sir. One and done type cast. That's how I like it. Not bad, check that out. Let's transfer them into another bucket. <laughs> There it is. Got a fish on it. I don't know what it is though. Mangrove snapper. On the free line. This guy is pretty small. We have to throw him back. Undersized, probably nine, 10 inches. He's small, let's put him back. Peace. So unfortunately, all of our pinfish died. I think it's cause it's too hot when they were sitting in the, uh, in the truck bed. They were like basically cooking in the heat. So we're gonna cast that for more bait here. These are gonna be better bait anyways for mangrove snapper out here on the pier. Here we go. Ah, not a bad throw there. Hopefully we get some. Oh, it's going right towards that post. Oh yeah, we got plenty. Plenty bait right there. That's all we need to catch mangrove snapper. Okay. We got fish on channel here. Nice. Starting today with a 13 yeah. inch. Caught a 13 inch. Nice. Snap it. That's, so, that's it. a solid one there. There we go. Good one. There you go. Oh, yeah, baby. That's a solid one right there. Here we go. Out here with fish on channel. Bush. That's a keeper, Bush. Yeah. Check that out. <laughs> All right. First keeper of the day. Let's measure this guy. Ooh, he is. Wow. Almost 13, right? Oh, no. 11 and a half. He's fat. Yeah, he is. He, he's, yeah, he, he, he's fat. Chunky. He's been eating good. Out here with Fish On Channel. Getting it done, baby. First one. First keeper. Yeah, good job. That's another 
You keeping them? Fish number two. I'm keeping them today. Here, let's throw a second bait down. It's um, outgoing tide right now, and surprisingly, they are chewing. Got me in the rock. All right, we're gonna have to retie. <laughs> Broke me off right there, all shredded up. Nice. Oh, that was a good thump. The dolphin's right there, man. He's gonna steal our, our fish when we do hook one up. Not good. Oh, what happened? I don't know what happened. Here we go. Let's send another green back out there. Oh yeah, that's a fat one, man. This guy's been eating good. Check that out. What do you think? You want to keep him or you want to let him go? If he's 11, I'll keep him. If he's under 11, let him go. All right, let's measure this guy here. He looks like he's 11 inches. He's 10. 10, uh, let him go and grow. Fat 10 incher. Look at that, man. Yeah, All right. Oh, fat. They look bigger, right? See ya. Yeah, man, go ahead. Use the live bait. I feel like they're they're more fired up on the on the live bait. You know, these snapper, I feel like they're they're swimming around the structure. They're not necessarily um, staying at one spot. So sometimes you gotta wait for them to, you know, come around your bait. But just gotta be patient. Oh yeah. There we go. Putting that carbon X to work, man. What do you think of him, Bush? Let him grow. They got some pretty mean. The gills, yeah. Oh, the gills and, and the and the fins, man. There are some vicious fish. Look at that. See ya. <laughs> oh, good one. Oh yeah, baby. This guy's pulling drag. Yes, sir. Is that an eater or what, Bush? <laughs> That's going in the box. Heck yeah, baby. Check him out. Mangrove snapper. That small pilchard, they get fired up, man. Good stuff. Let's measure it, see how big it is. Probably 11 and a half. Oh yeah, 11 and a half. That's a fatty, man. They're thick. They're thick out here. Another one, baby. Feels like he's decent, Bush. He's a 10. That's a tenner. On fire. That's a tenner, 10 inch mangrove snapper. Legal, but we're letting him go. See ya. Seems like they want that live bait, man. But I mean, they'll take the dead bait too, but I just like using live bait for some reason. It's more of like a, a confident thing. Oh, there's one. Oh, uh, he's all right. Look at that pinfish, dude. Stole him for, uh, keep him for, for those big snooks, huh? Yeah, they're not there. That's a big pin. That's what, that's what I've been feeling. You know, those small pecs. I'm amazed on how, how good this reel performs. Yeah, I was not expecting this reel to be this decent. I've seen a lot of videos on, on YouTube, you know, I'm just like, ah, uh, they're just one of those reels, like not that, you know, quality. Once I started fishing with it, you know, once I, once I have it in my hands, I'm like, wow, it's pretty, pretty decent for what it is. Gets the job done. Super light too, that's very important, guys. You want something that's nice and light because your shoulder is gonna thank you when you get older. Good one. Let's go, baby. <laughs> That's a fatty. Oh yeah, look at him. Look at him, just vicious. He's probably 11. Yeah, we'll, we'll throw this guy in the box. Don't we gotta measure him. All right, guys, so the tide just switched and they are chewing right now.
Oh yeah. Look at that fat nine incher. <laughs> Look how fat he is though. Look at that tummy. Been eating good. See ya. All right, Bush. Leaving, brother. That's gonna be a wrap, man. Yeah. You here today, man. All right, guys. That is a wrap. It started off slow this morning. Caught that one mangrove snapper, undersized, and then later in the day, the bite started picking up. Uh, we were using live greenbacks for for the um, the mangrove snapper. But overall, I'm super impressed by how this reel performed today. I didn't think this reel would perform that great. Um, I didn't think any of it, really. When I first heard about this reel, I was watching a couple videos on YouTube about it when, when I first heard about it, and I didn't think it would be this solid. When I first opened the box to, to get this reel spooled up, I instantly thought, wow, this is a solid build. For the price, you can't beat it. They're running a sale right now, 85 bucks. Um, they're typically 140 bucks, but you can check them out. Uh, I'll leave the link down in the description box below. If you're a captain, I highly recommend this reel if you're looking to outfit your boat. Won't break the bank, 85 bucks. Test them out, you know, pick up a couple of them, try them out, see how you like it. I didn't get a chance to mess with the 6,000 because the snook were not around. That's how fishing goes sometimes, you know? Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. Also, don't forget to go check out Bush's channel. Uh, I'll leave the link to his channel down in the description box below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.